Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome back to the Launch Art Channel. So today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a review of some of the things that we've already accomplished over the last couple weeks. And I wanna show you some of the progress that we've done. So right before we went on vacation about a week and a half ago, I put down some of this stuff. Turfman is something that I've used before in the past. It is a product that I really, really love. And the best part about this is that this turf mend actually has the exact same grass type that I put in the backyard, which is the Berenberg RPR perennial ryegrass. The other thing I like about this product, other than the fact that I have the RPR already in it, is the fact that I have a little bit of peat moss and some compost in there, which is gonna help to give the seed a little bit of coverage, and it's also gonna help with the water retention. Now, when I walked you guys through the lawn a couple weeks ago, you guys saw how bare some of the spots were, and that was because of all the runoff. And what I'm hoping is that by putting down some of this seed, that it is actually gonna help grow a little bit of grass in those bare spots, but it's also gonna start helping to build up some of that soil with the compost and with the peat moss. So I'm gonna take you guys around and show you what I did and how it looks right now. So I spent a little bit of time going through this. I actually used my drop spreader. And the reason why I used the drop spreader was because I really wanted to have some control over where the product was going. I took my time, went through and made sure that I covered all of the areas that actually had bare spots. And I bought two bags, so I've got the second bag. It's gonna help me with any of the bare spots that may develop from dog urine or any other things. Like I've got a lot of squirrels that like to dig up my yard. So hopefully uh, I have some of this left over so I can use it throughout the season. So now that we have all this product down, I wanna show you guys what it looks like. As I mentioned, we put this down about a week and a half ago, right before I went on vacation. And then yesterday I actually walked through the whole yard and did a little bit of mowing. Didn't video any of it because I just wanted to enjoy the mow. You guys know how it is. Sometimes, you know, taking the time to actually put down, put together a camera and actually set up all the shots and everything else just takes up a lot of time. And honestly, I had been just, I had been driving for eight hours and I just wanted to come home and relax. And that was my way of relaxing was actually getting the mower out. So let me show you how it looks now. So this is the view looking straight down my backyard. And you can just see how thick it's starting to look. It's not perfectly thick. In fact, if you look really closely, you can see a few little bare spots right there, but overall it's looking great. Don't mind the hill, that's the next project. I actually uh, killed a bunch of the weeds and stuff in there, so we're getting to that. But you can just see how nice this is looking. The trees haven't filled in yet, so we don't have a lot of shade yet. Uh, this is also another project that we'll talk about here in a video or two, but uh, we'll talk about that later. But one of the areas that I've mentioned before was how it gets real thin right in here because of the runoff and as you can see it looks really really good now not quite perfect but we're getting there and considering that this lawn is less than eight months old it's looking really really good and then when we go over here to the side my wife and i actually planted some roses up against the fence there and i'm going to be doing some flower beds in there but you can just see how good this looks now again we haven't gotten to the part where it's getting too terribly hot here yet and you can see a few little bare spots, but I'm not too worried about that. But man, what a difference. It just looks really good. Now, when we take a look up front, you can see how good this is starting to look as well. But here it's just straight Kentucky bluegrass, which is really what I'm working on right now. I did a real light overseed. I didn't show that, but up here, because it's a good mix between the Kentucky bluegrass and the perennial ryegrass, it's looking very, very thick. And you can see that uh, spring is coming in right there. And uh, we're, we've got some plans up here. We're gonna be putting down a lot more flowers, but you can just see how good it looks. And then one of the things I wanted to point out was right in here, you can see those little bare spots. Those bare spots were a lot bigger. And the reason why they don't look so big was because I actually used turf bend in the fall and you can see how well it's actually filled in. The RPR is gonna be one of those that's supposed to spread. And so far it looks like it is cause I can see it moving into the driveway a little bit. So I know that it is spreading, but between the RPR and the turf bend, I think we've got a really good plan for handling a lot of these bare spots. But this area, if you guys remember also, right in here, we had a bunch of fungus issues in the fall and those have really filled in, again, because of the Turfman product. 
The last thing I want to show you guys is right here. And this is because this is the exact spot where my dog likes to pee every day, but it is a little bit on the dead side, but we did get down some of the turf bend and I'll continue to put that down and hopefully it'll start filling in a little bit, but it looks a lot better, especially after you mow it, it looks a lot better, but I may just turn this into something else where my dog just has the freedom to use it as she pleases. So anyway, folks, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to show you. I just want to show you what we did right before we went on vacation and the results about a week and a half later. Really happy with Turf Man. This is something that I will continue to use. This is not something that was given to me. I'm doing this on my own just because I really do believe in the product. They do a great job and it costs a little bit more because it does have the seed and the compost and the peat moss all mixed in and all those things contribute to help this grass really take, take root. And it's great for patching and it's just something that I'm gonna to continue to use throughout the season. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think or if you have any questions about the actual product or some of the plans that I have uh, for the rest of the season. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell and we will see you on the next one. Have a great week, everybody.